and we return here at UCW Zero Television. Riot! I am MK, my broadcast partner, Josh Damien, as we go into another triple threat match for the women's title. What do you take on this match? I like Lacey Ryan's jacket. I like Lacey Ryan. I like Lacey Ryan in this match. She has had chance after chance after chance and just falls about that much short. Yeah, she looks good in purple, and uh, I'd let her do her finishing move on me. There you go. Yeah. But now what's interesting about this match tonight is that it is a mixed Introducing gender second. match. So we could have a man walking out of here with the UCW women's title and going back to Las Tommy Vegas. Yeah, don't get me wrong. Like I like Tommy Purr. I'm just not 100% sure if he exactly qualifies for this title. You know, I, I got to say, when I read the booking sheet this morning, I was a little surprised. And I talked to a few people and confirmed that they really feel that he is a worthy opponent. And they really feel that his cries to get in this match were, were valid. And so they put him in the match. Yeah, well, I I just I don't know how to feel about it. That's all I'm going to say. I think Tommy Purr is great. I think that he's had a lot of opportunities here, but I, I just think that uh, there are other titles he should probably And go introducing well, there third. You go. And now here we go. The champion, the Sierra Rose. women's champion. Now, how interesting would it be Sierra if Sierra Rose, Rose gets beat here? Then that means Zach James and Sierra Rose will no longer have championships. If she loses tonight, do you think their relationship could stand the strain of not having any championships? Uh, you know, I think that their relationship is based on the fact that the back of Sierra Rose's butt says stare. And I think that's uh, that's how Zach James is into it. And I don't know about Rose, but, I mean, you never know. Now, look at this. Tommy Purr has some sort of protection because he says he's doing a lot of modeling and he wants to protect, quote, his moneymaker. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, you know, you protect your assets. And in this case, that happens to be Tommy's face. But he's not protecting his asset. It's his face. Right. Yeah, exactly. That's what I said. Oh, you're just vile. <laughs> no. Actually, Tommy Purr, um, Lacey Ryan, and Sierra Rose, a great, great matchup here. I mean, I really like it. I think it's really cool. And I think the fans are treated once again to a great match here. At UCW Zero. Yeah, I, uh, I, er, uh, uh, here it's going to be very, uh, friendly one on one. Oh, except that Tommy's here. Never mind. Now, look here. Zach James is outside the ring. Do you think he might get involved with Tommy? Uh, I think he's in a relationship. Oh, and Tommy Purr is saying that it's his show. And oh, oh, oh! Chopping. Oh, look at that. Body chops. Chest chops all on Tommy Purr. And a double, a double drop kick. Man, I haven't seen a kitty beat that bat. Well, no, never That's mind. That's a it's double D, a double it's, drop kick. Yeah, exactly. It's television. I can't say it. Oh! Ooh. Double teaming. Well, look at this now. Now, what would have happened oh. had they both? Oh, Tommy Purr taking a beating from the champion and the challenger. Oh, as he just screams for them to stop kicking him. You, you were going to ask what was going to happen if they both pin him at the same time. Yeah. Uh, I imagine that they do something extremely creative, like break the title in half. Or perhaps like Solomon, the one that cared for it the most, would say, don't break it in half, and that's the rightful champion. Yeah, I, I don't read the Bible, so. <laughs> Ooh, Lacey Ryan looking determined, trying to get this one over early. Look at this now. Great maneuver here by Ryan. Oh, wow. Looks like she's been watching film. Good arm drag right there. Lacey Ryan doing her film studies, doing her homework. One step ahead of Sierra Rose right now. Uh-oh. Oh, and Sierra Rose reversing it. Uh-oh. For a minute, I thought she was going to go for a choke slam there. I was oh, like, that's yeah. new. Slice spread, arm drag right there. Classic Sierra Rose calling her spots here. Oh, and a roll-up. I thought there might be a monkey flip there, but she wants to brawl. Tommy Purr on the outside, getting back in, recovered from all those chops and kicks. Grabbing hair. That's the one thing that he can get away with is he doesn't have a lot of hair to grab, but they do. You know, it amazes me the idea that Tommy Purr could have two shiny things on his body, one around his waist and one on his face. There you go. And that could happen. He does not have to pin the champion, just like in our first match of the evening. He does not have to pin the champion. Zach James looks Concern for Sierra Rose. Well, into the, 
And you know what? He should be. I mean, he's a good boyfriend. He has to go home to that after this. We definitely don't. Oh, and Tommy Purr with the elbow and then the reversal. And now he's kicking Lacey Ryan in the side there, getting a little bit of payback. Ooh, did you hear that thud? It did not sound good, I can assure you of that. And now stomping a mud hole. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Are we going to see it? Uh-oh. Here we go. Uh-oh. Yo! And the Bronco Buster. Ooh! And Sierra Rose grabbing that Tommy by that mask and his hair. Yeah, normally we only see that move at the after party, but hey, why not put it in a match? There you go. Big move. Going for the brawling instead of the victory. Why not go for the pin? Well, you know what? I mean, sometimes it's not just about the championship. Sometimes you also have to prove your point. So, you know, she could get the easy victory. But then again, if I was Tommy Purr, I'd roll around with Sierra Rose and let her be on top for a little bit, too. Don't like Zach James with that. And then look at that, taking off the mask well, that's and using just, it against hey, him. Those are, those are rhinestones. Those are expensive. Ouch. That's not some cheap cubic zirconia. No, look at that. Tommy Purr, not sure what he got himself into, and a big chop by Lacey Ryan. Tommy Purr taking a timeout here, pissed off at the mask, but he's the one that brought it in. That thing was expensive. Ooh, big spear. Oh. Now that pole getting Whoa. in the way. Low. Wow, that pole getting in the way, so she had to kind of modify her move right there. Yeah, I don't, I don't quite understand why that pole is still up. I mean, you know, it's, it's not like we turn into a strip club until after hours or anything like well, that. Well, it is, a, it is a women's match. Wow, there That's you go. That's why the pole's there. Oh, <laughs> big suplex. And human resources gets mad at me. All right, One, two, two, no. Hey, it's an intergender match. I mean, what do you want us to say here? Well, you know what? I mean, we. Uh, look at Tommy Purr. Getting into it with Zach James on the side while Lacey Ryan takes Sierra Rose to the ropes, missing the clothesline. Another missed clothesline. Whoa! Oh, big Superman over the ropes on Tommy Purr. Zach James saw that coming and got out of the way just in time. This is wrestling. No oh, baseball oh, slide. Oh, wow. I didn't see that one coming. And Sierra Rose is out, but Lacey Ryan is safe. Now, what happens if there's a triple countout? Uh, I would assume that, that we would vacate the title, and I would get to wear it and feel pretty. There you go. Yeah. Uh-oh, here we go. Oh, what is he? He's used to fighting men, and that works. But guess what? Stealing one from Ric Flair's book only works when you're against men. Get him! Get him, Lacey! Get him! Lacey oh, a Ryan chasing him. Now the count starts... And look, he's doing, I don't even know what to call that. I, a back, lower back punch. Hey, you know what? you got to take down your opponent any way possible. Exhibit A clearly didn't work, so why not Exhibit B? Oh! oh. Big stiff move by Lacey Ryan. Sierra Rose on the outside, not knowing what's going on. Pretty much one-on-one -on -one action here. The winner will get the woman's title. Well, and you know what? Right now, that's looking like Lacey Ryan. Top rope action here. Look at high this High risk, now. high reward. Oh, and there's the high risk. Uh-oh. Tommy Purr, no way. Uh-oh. Look at this now. Uh-oh. Oh, it's a... Uh... Oh, gosh, he was telling me what the name of this was called earlier. I just remember it's called... Oh, wow. Well, he has several moves. I can't remember the actual name, so I'm just going to call it the PP. That's that's exactly right. He just hit Lazy Ryan with his PP, which is the that's first time right. he's hit that on a woman. That Imagine is that. right. Wait a minute, her leg on the rope. That is such a smart move. Lacey Ryan, as she moves up in the ranks and has title matches, learning that it takes less effort to put your leg on the rope than it does to kick out. And I'll tell you what, Tommy Purr is going to feel those kicks to his stomach and his chest in the morning. Here. One, two. And do we? Oh. oh. Oh, he got it. He got, she got it. Sierra Rose winning the title. Sierra Rose wins Your the title. Winner and still Beats Divas not only Tommy holder, Purr, a man, Sierra but also the number one Rose. contender, Lacey Ryan. Well, you know, I got to say, I really thought that Lacey Ryan would have had this one. I thought that this match could have had an entirely different outcome. 
if she had had testicles, I mean, Tommy would have been disqualified and she would have been the champion. Well, so I'll I, tell you something. So who do we blame? Do we blame her parents? Do we blame her? <laughs> I mean, I don't know what to do in this situation. Well, I'll tell you what. It was what a match we saw. Tommy Purr, Lacey Ryan, just couldn't get it done tonight. And you, we will be back with UCW, UCW Zero Television. I'm MK. This is Josh Damien. Stick around. More matches coming right up. Main event done.